I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rock bees on our winter wears. Welcome to be now, I'm the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here with part four of a Minecraft playthrough. Let's get into it. So, as we left off, basically I ran into the hole to avoid getting killed by whatever the hell wants to kill me out there because I am not going to mess with that and instead, well, well, actually we're pretty safe now. So for now I'm just going to take down my bed and take down my other tools as well. Oh, we got a little cow outside. So, I'm thinking that with these tools I should be able to... I should be able to live. I mean, hopefully we can find a place where I can stay at. I mean, I don't really need these chiseled stone bricks. Screw these. Let me see, what else do I not need? Uh, I don't need... Oh, I wouldn't take those trap tools, but I'm very curious to see what the hell they do, so I'm just going to deal with them for now. Uh, we don't need the seeds for now. Yeah, we don't need you for now. We can find plenty of you. And we do need the light, so let's see what the hell's good up there. Ah, it's daytime. Okay, then. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So, things worked out pretty well. I mean, we avoided getting killed, but I am still very, very hungry, so we're going to need to eat some food. So, where's that steak? Wait, I actually have to still make that stuff because I don't have any food, so... All right. Let's switch this with this. Furnace. Next thing we're going to do is... Put some charcoal in there and then put some steak. By the way, in the last video, thank you very much to whoever said that I can use shift to like speed up the clicking and get stuff back really quick because that really helps a lot. Like that does a lot for me. So thanks a lot. With this steak, I should be able to live because I was gonna die of hunger before. Yes, beautiful. Oh, this is my wood. Let me take this shit. I need to leave my tools right on standby. Okay, this is here, stored, and then my pickaxe I'll leave here. Let's leave that there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mm. Uh, how are you guys feeling, by the way? I'm decent. You guys responded pretty well to the Minecraft playthrough, so this is what made me figure, maybe I'll make this a regular thing, you know? You guys seem to dig it. Wasn't I making more steak? Why did I destroy that? Okay, well, whatever. It's all done, pretty much. I need dirt. Get this wood. Okay then. Now let me get the fuck out of here. And we still have to find our home, so you know what? Let's do it. Okay, which direction should we head into? This one. Maybe we can get some food while we're at it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just eat this steak. Mm -hmm. A little bit more of it. <laughs> the cows are like, yo, man. What's good? I saw you almost get fucked up by the monsters last night. Yeah, well, that doesn't concern you, cow, so why are you bothering me about it? I got 99 problems, but a cow ain't one anymore, that's for sure. Okay, so we got us a creeper over there. So the first creeper that we encounter in this playthrough, let's do it. Fuck you. What the fuck? Fuck! Fuck! Oh, why am I so stupid for? Oh my god. Oh my god, never again. Never again will I ever do anything that dumb. Why did I do that? Can you tell me why? Damn, man, now I gotta start from scratch, pretty much. I lost everything in that. I should not have done that when all of my resources were in that goddamn... I don't even know which way I went, so you know what? Forget it, it's that, that path of life is done. I cannot believe I did something that stupid. Well, you know what? Whatever. Life moves on. Wait, the jungle dungeon. I went this way, so maybe if we follow the direction that I went, I can actually go back and get some of my stuff. 
You see, there's one observation that I made, guys. Minecraft on the PC is ruthless. Like, you you are, like, pretty much thrown into a world with your cock out, basically, and you have to survive using the most primal methods that are available to you. But Minecraft on the Xbox 360, <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's not, that's not a difficulty struggle at all. That's a cakewalk, you know? Because I, my, um, my sister's boyfriend, no, no, my, my brother, my girlfriend's brother, uh, he has Minecraft on the Xbox, and when I play that, I'm like, oh god, you guys are spoiled. Like, you, you don't have to do any hard work. Everything is just given to you. They have all these nice explanations of what the items do and all this stuff holding your hand. I was just like, oh my god. Like, the, the PC Minecraft is hardcore when you compare it to the um, Xbox 360 version. Not to say that you guys playing the Xbox 360 are pussies, but let's just say that your experience is nothing like the PC experience, where you're just throwing out there. No fucks given at all. All right, so I went this way. We gotta find everything else, man, because that was a lot of items, man. That was a lot of resources. Hopefully it's not all destroyed. See, I don't know what this thing is with the game, like, loading chunks really, really late, but whatever. Oh. And also, another, another difference that I noticed between the Xbox and the PC version of Minecraft is the fact that the music in the Xbox 360 version is always playing. There's never a moment where the music isn't playing. So really, really weird stuff there. Like I was wondering, wow, so they want to make it look like it's like somewhat cool for people playing it on the 360 so they don't feel like everything's against them? Yeah, you guys on the 360 are spoiled as hell. Never forget it. Oh man, where is my stuff? I don't know where. Oh God. What am I gonna do, man? Like, cause right now I'm looking for my, huh? Come on. This is the last thing I need right now. Come on! We gotta find my shit before nighttime, man, because this is not gonna be a good scene if I don't. What the hell? What is this? Pumpkin. Hey, man, fuck it, let's get it. <laughs> yeah, I just put emphasis on us trying to find my stuff before nightfall. Yet, I'm here collecting pumpkins like a dumbass. I need resources, man. I gotta find my stuff. I have to. I don't even have a map or anything to guide me towards where it went. Where's the sun? Oh, it's gonna set soon, man. We gotta hurry up and find my stuff. But which way did I go? This is not kosher. Alright, I'm just gonna head in here. This forest seems like... What the hell? Magma's here? Nice. Alright. So hopefully we can find our stuff, man, because I don't remember what direction we went into, but if I'm spending my time looking for stuff, eventually I'm gonna run out of hunger. I mean, I'm gonna run out of, um, I'm gonna, my hunger's gonna lower, and when my hunger lowers, I'm not gonna be able to do much more searching, so I'm gonna have to set up base. So you know what? It's not like I have that much valuable stuff there anyways. All I have is some gold and gold is not exactly valuable in this game i do know that at least give me some credit here i'm not exactly a noob to this game so you know what yeah at this point we're gonna waste so much time and energy looking for the stuff we're never gonna find it so you know what forget it we're just gonna what the hell wow look at all that stuff there's cows down there wow this wow. looks so cool look at this oh man now that looks interesting but we gotta we gotta get materials for life. So you know what? Let's get us some wood real quick. Make things a little bit easier for us because right now I've messed up really badly. Why did I jump at a creeper and attack him head on like that? I have no idea. I thought I was being a boss. I had a sword for God's sakes. I thought it would kill him with two hits. Nope. Not at all, Desmond. Not at all. I must have looked really stupid to you guys. Jesus Christ. I, I know I'm gonna hear it in the comments section, man. That was really dumb of me. Like, I literally just said, hi, hi, creeper, hi, creeper. He said, oh, what's up? Blew the fuck out of me. And not in a sexual manner. I wish it was a sexual manner. Dude, oh, man, I need to hurry up. It's gonna get nighttime soon. I need to fucking hurry up. Okay, then, so, we're going to make some sticks. Why did I use all the wood like that? Now I'm not gonna be able to make any fucking... Okay, whatever. Just just get more wood and you'll be good. Get more wood and you'll be good. It's all good in the hood. 
It's all good in the hood. Your girl want to get this wood. Yeah. All right. So hopefully we will be good with this stack of wood. Then we can... Oh, I lost my bed too. So we're not going to be able to fast forward time, man. Why did I do that? I was so good. I found sheep. I had resources. But no, my dumb ass had to fuck it up. All right. We got to do something, man. We got... Okay, you know what? Let's make a sword really quick. We can kill that cow over there. And then afterwards, we can um, make a bunch of, or at least have some steak to last us the night. Because it looks like we're not going to be able to get a bed to fast forward time tonight, guys. And I'm not looking forward to that at all. So we got enough tools right here for now. Let me just make an axe. Because, damn, why did I do something so stupid, man? Okay, we got an axe. Let's make us a pickaxe just to be safe. Oh, man. All right, boom, pickaxe. Got that. Oh, it's only night time. We got to do something. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We got to go, man. We got to go. Let's go. Let's go, Steve. This sucks, man. We're literally stuck. Well, guys, you know the situation. What the f... All right, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. What the hell do we have on our plates, man? This is not good. Don't f fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Let's go. Just go. Just go. Ah! Oh, shit. I'm going to die. No. No. Don't, don't die. Just, just put the fucking wool there. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. What's going on guys? Etika from the Arca World Network bringing you part 5. Part 5 of our Minecraft playthrough. So now let's load up the episode right here. As you remember, we basically had gotten ourselves in a whole lot of trouble because I ran into a creeper, got my ass blown to pieces, and now we are literally in an abyss of darkness trying to figure out how the hell we can survive. Oh man, this is the only light we have. Oh, man. We're stuck underground. We don't have any resources at all. Not only that, but... It's just really, really bad for us right now. Really bad. All right, this way, at least if something comes, we can block this up. Because right now, we don't have any torches either. So if we are, like, down here, and we even decide to do some digging, we're not going to be able to see anything. So there's no point in, you know, digging or doing anything anymore. We got to be... We got to wait here, man. Like, I just... I hate it when you're in position. <gasps> huh? Huh? Oh my god. Spider? This is not conducive, man. This is not kosher. This is not kosher. Can the spider even... What, what is that? What's that sound? Wow. Okay. This sucks, man. I did not want to be stuck in a position like this. All right, it's only one hole, so, you know, it's not like something can get through that. We can spend this time maybe working on the tools that we need here. But we're going to use stone anyway, so it's not like it really matters. So, you know what? The least we can do is... Can we even make any torches with this? Can, maybe you can... Maybe we can make a torch with the pumpkins. Because I've never seen that item before, so maybe we can use this as, like... But no, I need cobblestone to make a furnace to be able to turn the wood from the pumpkin into charcoal. So this is not good news. We have to figure out something. I don't want to just be stuck here all night, but it looks like that's going to be the way it is. This really sucks, man. I got to make sure that this never happens again. Because at this rate, we are never, ever going to find our old stuff. That's gone. Like it's, it's already gone. And I'm going to go hungry at this point because I wasn't able to kill that cow. The only thing I have is this raw chicken, man. If we go hungry down here over the night, I'm going to be pissed. But, but the best way to not be hungry is to not run. Use up energy. You can slowly see the moon move. Like, it's so subtle. I'm sorry about this, guys. I had Now, thanks to this, I got to spend a whole episode underground hiding from monsters because I was too bitch to be able to actually realize that, well, I wasn't bitch, actually. That was actually pretty damn ballsy, running up to a creeper's face and just smashing him with a stone sword. Pretty damn ballsy, by my part. Yeah, you know, I give myself props. But not for the stupidity of it. God damn it. 
I'm just watching the sun go down at this point. I mean, the moon go down. But it's so interesting. I can see it slowly move in front of the screen. Like, very, very interesting stuff. It was interesting because I saw that there's a game called Mooncraft where you're actually on the moon and you can see the earth and it's like doing the same thing. Pretty cool. So somewhere far, far away in the distance of that beautiful moon, there is a Minecraft player watching us, or rather a Mooncraft player just watching us. Very, very interesting. I wish we could do something though. The second I go out there, I'm going to get killed. I know that much for a fact. And it's not that like we found any sheep out there, so... Damn, I had it made. The first day, found sheep. I didn't have to wait through the night. It was, everything was done for me, basically. All I had to do was be smart, and I couldn't even get that right. Can't even trust myself with a Minecraft house, much less a regular one. <laughs> oh, man. And I hear the spider. He obviously wants to fuck my shit. Like, you, can, you can hear him. He's only chilling here because he wants to fuck me. You hear the guy, right? He knows I'm here for some reason. Why do they know I'm here? Okay, the moon is slowly going away. What's here? <gasps> yeah, you see, he wants to fuck me. You see? He's right there. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, I know you know I'm here. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, you like that? Oh, you like that dick, right? You like that dick. Yeah, you can't get in here. This hole is too small for you. Yeah, that's what she said. I better not fuck around. Get smoked or seen by a monster. If I get seen by a monster while I'm jumping up there, he can easily walk up to here and, like, drop in a hole. Oh, man, I'm going to get hungry at this point. I gotta eat this. Oh God, please do not die of hunger. Yeah. You like that, huh? What's that sound? I hear something walking, like a... Like a... Is that something walking towards here? Like a monster or something? Oh boy, I do not like the sound of this. What the hell? I can't place the pumpkin? Oh. Oh! That spider really wants to fuck my shit. You can't get me though, bitch. Yeah. For some reason, I don't remember this being the first time I've ever hidden from a spider before. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, this spider's gonna... Ah, damn it. I'm really hiding like a punk from this spider, man. Oh! No! No! I gotta get out of here. This is horrible. No. No. Damn it. I'm gonna get killed, and I'm gonna... Oh, God. I almost died there, yo. This is gonna be a long night, man. I mean, I'm not going to cut this out because this is all part of the playthrough. I mean, this is what you guys want, right? It's not like I can cut this out. The first night is always the hardest, and I had gone through my first night, so the second night is actually proven to be more difficult than the first. Oh, man, this is not good. I don't even know which direction I was facing to leave. This really fucking sucks. How does a spider still survive a fall like that? After being blown up by the creeper first off, and then falling? It makes no sense to me. How did the creeper know I was there in the first place? He probably saw me when I was jumping. He probably saw me jumping, and then he was like, Oh, I'm gonna fuck his shit! He fell into the hole, and he was looking at me like, Oh, I'm gonna fuck your shit. I was like, no, no, I'm gonna fuck your shit. No, no, don't do it. I'm gonna fuck your shit. Just, damn it, man. This sucks. Like, and night, and daytime takes a long time to get here, man. Oh, I think it's here. Finally, it's daytime. Finally. 
but I can't fuck around. Like if I leave here and the spider like jumps on my ass, it's gonna be a snack wrap. So I gotta make sure I'm careful with this situation. Okay, it's around daytime. It should be okay. I don't hear him trying to fuck me. Oh shit, he does wanna fuck my shit. He's still trying to kill me. It's daytime. Why? I don't understand this, man. I'm going to lose everything. All right, I got to think smart. I got to figure out something to do to be able to lure this guy. Yeah, all right. So how do I get him to come up here? Fuck it. Let me just leave. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Okay, so the journey finally continues, man. And we got to find some food before I die. Oh, no! 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 Do not. This is why I cannot stand areas like this, man. The creepers hide within the damn bushes. They're fucking war veterans, man. I cannot do this. We have to find food. We have to find shelter. We have to find something, man. I cannot do this plains life anymore. We gotta get out of the planes. We gotta get out of here, get somewhere. Oh, is that a chicken? Yo, survival mode is on and ready right now. Come here. Wow. Oh, and, and sheep? I'm sorry, man. I'm on a fucking murdering spree right now. Give me your meat. Don't fucking around with me. Just give me your meat and everything will be okay. I'm sorry, but this is, has got to be the way it goes, man. This guy has to be the way it goes. I'm not, I'm not messing around here, man. I need resources. Give me this meat. Give me this meat. Yeah, just no homo. <laughs> oh, all right, beautiful. All right, yes, you too. I need that meat. Let me get that. I got one heart of health left. Not only that, but like, oh, you're gonna cook tonight, bitch. What the hell? What's that thing on me? I'm green. Hunger. What? What does that mean? I'm sorry, chickens. Oh man, I'm being so wasteful with them right now. But you know what? That's the way it's got to be, man. I need resources. I need to be able to live. Anyway, so um, you guys, see what's good. I mean, from here, we got to find ourselves some shelter. We got to find ourselves some way to live because right now we are definitely on survival mode. One heart of health left. Hunger totally not satisfied. We are in a really bad spot here. We got to figure out a way to get past this. But hey, man, until we do, I will talk to you guys later. Take care of yourselves and please have a good one and stay tuned for part six. Yeah, well, that doesn't concern you, cow, so why are you bothering me about it? I've got 99 problems, but a cow ain't one anymore, that's for sure. Okay, so we got us a creeper over there. So the first creeper that we encounter in this playthrough, let's do it. Fuck you. What the fuck? Fuck! Hello, guys, and welcome to part six of our Minecraft playthrough. So let's get into the game right now. So as you saw in the last episode, I got totally messed up. By a creeper got blown up by a creeper again but luckily i survived that second time but we are on major survival mode right now like we are so hungry we need food we need hearts we need shelter protecting equipment cobblestone we need everything right now things are really really bad for us right now extremely so hopefully i can survive long enough i thought that was a monster i was about to lose my fucking mind Hopefully we can survive long enough to be able to like get resources to be able to live, man. Like I need cobblestone badly so I can make a stove. Okay, fresh start, you know, moving forward. The jungle temple? Fuck you, dumb. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, not going that way. There's two of them? This, wait, wait, hold on a minute. This is one here. This is one jungle temple. And this, wasn't there another one? Oh, maybe I'm losing my mind. There's one. Oh, let me climb the top of this tree and see. No, there's just one. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, I got a crafting table over there. Let me go and take that. Moving on. 
you know? Forgetting the past about anything that happened back then, and we're moving on. Yes. Oh, God. All right. Um, we're going to need some more wood, so we might as well find some wood before it becomes nighttime so we don't find ourselves in that same messed up position that we were in last night. We got to get out of here. We got to keep moving. Oh, now the music decides to come on. Oh, now you want to be peaceful and sound lovely to me. Hmm. How lovely. Well, it ain't going to work, man. I know what kind of ruthless game this is. It doesn't matter how much pretty music you play for me. Okay, we got enough wood where we can make like an axe. Actually use that to live off. <laughs> I love the music in this game. Okay then. So we are going to use this. Use half of it to make us some sticks. Use you to you make us an axe or two. Yeah, there we go. Wait, I need you sticks. Come here. Now we're going to take this. Okay, now it's time to get us some wood. Yeah, you know, we're still on our journey. We're still moving forward here. Yeah, moving forward in the best way possible. Let's do it. We got to do this all before nighttime, though. Okay. We got us enough wood, I think. Look, it's a plains. Like, that's actually a nice flat land right there. So you know what? This is good. We gotta find somewhere to go though. Okay. Wait, let's make us uh let's make a sword just to be able to defend ourselves from any possible monsters out there. Wait, come back here. Okay then. Next we gonna put you here. Put you there. Okay. Boom. Okay, sword. Let's make two, just in case, because I don't like, like, monsters popping up out the bushes. That's the shit I don't like. This isn't exactly the song to be able to do that to, but hey. Okay, then, we got some pickaxes. This will be good. Oh, everything's nice and organized and stuff. Okay, then, good, perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I'm going to do you, all right. I'll be remembered through these names. I'll be, I'll be remembered through this game as the biggest genocide monster of all time. But you know what? I don't, I don't have any problems with that because clearly this game has something against me. Creepers just conveniently spawn whenever I'm around somewhere that I'm trying to like be safe. I mean, I wasn't trying to find combat, but no, creepers just have to come through. Come here, sure you can. You gotta find somewhere nice to live, man. We need somewhere to grow. The Ethical World Network Empire. And I said it's going to be somewhere nice and flat. Nowhere crazy where it's like you can't see the monsters coming to you. Oh, more sheep. You know what? Very convenient. There's been times where I've never been able to find sheep within the first few days of me playing. But hey, more of them. I'm sorry. You guys are all going to die. I need that wool. Yo. Yo. Wool check for wool check. Yeah. Wait, I have enough. Oh, more wood. I love wood. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, come on. No, I need. I don't need to be wasting time with this. I need to find myself a home. Yeah. Getting beat to get for the bokuto. And if you know what a bokuto means, then you get cookies in this episode. Yeah. Well, it's kind of obvious, you know, I say, oh, you're getting beat to death with a bokuto. Oh, I wonder what that means. He's hitting him with a wooden sword. What does that mean, bokuto? Is this sort of like the direction we went to when we first died? Because this is looking like it. Hmm. This looks sort of similar like the area we were in when we died first. Like when we died like two deaths ago. Well, whatever. If it is, that'll be beneficial for us because our items should still be around at this point. Hmm. 
Let's see. Um, oh, cobblestone's here. Wow, very, very convenient. Let's get some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I see cobblestone, I do the Hodge Twins mating call. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Very, very beneficial for us, though. Very beneficial. Oh, boy. It's about to be nighttime, though. We got to find us a place to hide. Okay. Um. I'm looking at that forest. We'll be able to see anything green coming towards us. Not only that, but we can have a good vantage point if we set up a bed on top of one of the trees. So you know what? We're going straight up Tarzan in this motherfucker. Let's do it. Oh, it's a pig. Oh, I haven't seen one of you guys in so long. <gasps> These are my items. <gasps> I did it. I found them. I, did, I wasn't even looking at this point. Oh my God, let me get all this stuff. Oh, my items. All of them are back. Yes, you don't know how much daddy missed you. Oh, items. Oh, all this wood. Oh, I don't like you, wood. All this gold. Oh, man, my items are back. Yes, thank you. I didn't even know this was the right direction. I was just walking. Okay, okay. We're about to find everything. Oh, okay, this is so great, though. I'm so glad I found you guys. Oh, a mistake. Okay, then. All right, to, in order to avoid what happened last time, I'm going to stop right here. Sticky piston? No, I don't need that. What's this? Wool? Yeah, I need a cobblestone? Yeah, gravel? Don't need you. Yeah. Okay, then. So now, pig. Sorry, you have to join the cause, man. By joining the cause, I mean give me your fucking gitlets. So, at this point now, we don't need gray wool really too much. Oh, man, we have so many items, though. Okay, we got to build us some shelter. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. Into the ground. Into the ground. All right, good. And we have us some torches, so we can actually see what the hell is going on here. Oh man, I never expected to find my stuff like this, though, man. I am so happy right now. Okay, so what's this? What is that? Sandstone. Okay, interesting. Okay, so since we are stuck down here, what the hell? What the hell's going on here? What's happening? Oh, wait, sand has gravity. Oh, okay, there we go. I get what's going on now. Okay, so this means all we have to do is just go a little deeper, that's all. Yeah, all right, excellent. So now we are in a position where we can set up this bed, we can go to sleep, and we can wake up without having to worry about making you guys wait like hours and hours. So I blew up, my home bed was missing or obstructed, and I tried to swim in lava. That, that last death, I don't even want to think about it because I was so angry, but now I'm so happy. I found my stuff, man. I am so happy right now, man. I'm very, very, very pleased. I don't need all this wooden stuff anymore, though. So you know what? I'm going to leave all this crap here because this isn't useless to me now. Sorry, Wood. I mean, you are great to, for helping me in the beginning, but now you're just useless. Sorry, but I love you guys. I love you so much. Okay, then. So now we are going to use this dirt to be able to... Oh, wait. Oh, I need a wooden pickaxe to get out of here. Okay, then. Fine. Some of you guys can come, but the rest of you are staying here. They're like, shit. He really doesn't need us. Yeah, you're right. Damn right I don't. Okay, then. Boom. Now you guys can go away. Let me see, anything else wood in my inventory? Nope, nothing else wood. Okay, I can get out of here now. Whoa, almost died there. Uh, I know you can suffocate, yeah. Okay, so now it's time to get out of here. I don't need dirt. Goodbye and hello to the world. Okay guys, so we pretty much were in a really good position. We found all of our items again. This is really, really beneficial for us. No more having to worry about bullshit. So, things are pretty good right now. We're moving forward in a very positive manner. So, I'm ready to handle the world a lot better now. Well, anyways, guys. Thanks once again for tuning into this episode of Medical World Network Gaming Commentary. And I will see you guys later. Take care of yourselves and please have a damn good one. I'm really hiding like a punk from the Spider-Man. Ah! No! No! I gotta get out of here!
This is horrible. No. No.